this building is not actually supposed to be on the ground. So let's show both layers, and I'm going to press T for move and move it up that two feet. Now, I'm going to hide the roof so it's easier to work. Oops. And I'm going to pick the line stair tool. I'll click down here and then click and drag up this way until it gets to the top. And you can drag it so it snaps to these endpoints on the porch or the deck. Obviously, it's a little too tall here, so we can reduce the step height until it's flush with the top of the deck. Go. I'll just right click. I can do the same thing on this end. Click, click and drag so it snaps. Make sure it's straight. I can drag this side until it reaches the end. And the height should already be correct. Zoom in a little bit and make sure it's fully snapped. No. There we are. Oops, looks like we have a little problem here. So we'll just undo that and try again. Click line stair, click, click and drag, make sure it's straight, and make sure the height is correct. And of course, if you need to adjust it further, you can do it with the regular tools. So now the rest of the house is floating over the ground, so we'll have to add, we just add some regular boxes to use as supports. I'm going to draw my box right in here, holding control to make sure it's square. Drag it down to the ground and make sure it's right into the bottom of the deck. Zoom in and see how that's okay. It that looks pretty good. Make sure it goes up to the edge of the stairs there. Okay, it's pretty good. Once I've got one of those, of course I can just select it and copy and paste it. Just make a few more of them. Placing them. Of course, you can be more exact if you like.
and make sure they go under the house as well, not just the deck. You can also do this with Lightly Ted's fence tool and only using the columns option. That about does it for our tutorial. If you want, you can also use the wall tool as well as the roof options we went over before to make a wall that surrounds the property.